life will change because you are now vibrating it and calibrating at the highest level. So that's what you work toward. That's why you follow the yamas because you, you make sure that you always act in consideration with ahimsa. And the satcha you practice is the satcha of yourself, the truthfulness to yourself and to your guidance. Yes? Thank you. So the homework now, the homework is to write it about a time when you told the truth to someone and it ended in a bad way. Does anybody have an example like that right now? No? Please sit up, guys. Please sit up. This is not a nap time. You should be taking notes. Okay? Does anybody have an example of when you told the truth and it ended bad? Yeah. <laughs> um, my best friend. Um, she had a boyfriend. Um, they lasted four months, um, five months, whatever. He started texting, and he texted me, and I asked him, "Well, do you have a little girlfriend?" He's like, "Oh no." I'm like, "Oh no, you don't." So the next day, I told my best friend. She didn't believe me. She didn't believe me. She like, I don't know. He was like, God to her or something. I don't know. But yeah, our friendship ended. So, nothing changed in that, right? Pardon me? Is that the thing here that no, nothing changed, right? Like, is it the yama or? The yama, yeah. So she, so she practiced what she thought was sacha, but really she, she violated ahimsa. Does that make sense? Because ahimsa means that you were acting in, in consideration of others. If you, she knew her best friend, she knew that if she told her best friend, it would hurt her. So when you do that, you just keep your mouth quiet. Because you've got to trust, like I said, you've got to know, like you know, like you know, like you know, like you know, that God or the universe will take care of it. You don't have to be the warrior of truth. Something will happen. Something will happen, and she will find out the truth. So you have to be careful. It can be related with that karma? Yes, it can be related with karma. It can be related with um, karma. is just whether good karma or bad karma is energy, right? It's whether you're actually, again, vibrating out good energy, good vibrations, as we, as we sing that song, good vibrations or bad vibrations. Es lo que vienes arrastrando. Es lo que vienes atrayendo. Atrayendo? Sí. Tú... Si tú estás este, si tú estás vibrando a un nivel muy bajo, entonces, entonces lo que vas a hacer es, es acuérdate puedes, que un imán, acuérdate puedes, un imán. Tú puedes cortar entonces cuando tú quieras, cuando tú decidas, ¿sabes qué? El karma hasta aquí llegó. Tú puedes, tú puedes cambiar tu energía. Entonces sí lo puedes hacer. Sí, sí, si lo sabes y si, y estás consciente de que, Ahorita estoy sintiendo de esta forma y esta forma no me está sirviendo. Pum, cambia. Y busca la manera de cambiar. Ponte a cantar, ponte a bailar, ve, ve con, tu, con tu mascota, todo lo que tú quieras para cambiar esa energía. ¿Sí? Ponte, este, porque lo que estamos haciendo, estás vibrando acá abajo. Un imán, vamos a suponer un imán, un ejemplo. Tienes un imán, ¿verdad? Y luego tienes este, las cositas que se le pueden, este, um, que el imán puede atraer, ¿no? Si tú pones el imán allá abajo, al mismo nivel, uh, empieza a capturar todas las cosas, ¿sí? Pero si tú levantas el imán aquí y las cosas están acá abajo, no sube. Tú tienes que bajar el imán. Tú eres el imán. Tú tienes que bajar el imán aquí para que agarre todas esas cosas vibrando allí. Si tú subes el imán, tus energías, nunca vas a traer lo negativo que está acá abajo. ¿Ahora sí me explico? 
Entonces, lo que, lo que hacemos es, la verdad, la verdad, nosotros no tenemos el derecho de decir la verdad si sabemos que va a lastimar a otra persona. In the, in the end, you have to be truthful to yourself, yes, but you do have to be, you do have to sometimes tell the, that kind of a truth, right? Because you should not be leading around because now you are violating ahimsa again. You're not acting in consideration. To yourself, right? To him. Or also. Or yourself. Yeah. To both of you. You're not acting in consideration. You're not doing what you should do and practice kindness kindness, consideration, love, right? So there's sometimes that you, when you're acting in ahimsa, yes, you have to tell him, you know what, I, I, because I, you're going to tell him the truth, you probably do appreciate him. Mm -hmm. You probably think he's a, you know, a great, a great person. It's just that the relationship just doesn't work, right? So you were acting in consideration and still telling the truth. That make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay, what if you know a person, either a family member or a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, you know that person is lying to you, and you know that there's a lie coming back, um, but you don't want to say it, like you don't want to say to the person, okay, you're lying to me, I know that you are, but um, you just keep it yourself. I mean, you keep the lie yourself. Mm -hmm. What, I mean, what if you don't say that you know that they're lying? you know for sure, for sure, for sure yeah. that they're lying. Mm -hmm. So, again, you know, that's a different situation. You're just going to, basically what you're going to do is you're going to, I would say to you, you would tell the truth to yourself. Remember, this is about yourself, your inner yes. guidance. I know the truth. He can say whatever he wants, or she can say whatever she wants. I know the truth in here. But would you go back and say, you know, you're lying? Or no, why? Is, is that's to appease you and your ego. It's not about helping him, it's to appease you and your ego. We have to be very careful because that ego comes in here and it just goes right there and wants you to think that you're God. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. uh, I have something, it's something related like that. Um, like a, it's something about family, you want to get too deep into it. But I was told something from another family member um, that um, something about my parents that like, I know that, I know, like a lie, well, it's like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Something happened, but they haven't told us, and we found out, and now we know, we know, but they don't know we know. So it's like we have to kind of live through it, but we don't want to bring it up because they're lying, they're not saying anything for a reason, you know? And it's kind of like, I was, it was gossip, right? Because it was told to us, it and was maybe it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be told to us, but now that we know, and um, it's just that we don't see my parents ever telling us. So it's like, when is it going to happen? What, like, now that we have to deal with it and kind of face it, but it's kind of hard because we can't just go ahead and ask them because it was told to us and not by them. But I see in their faces that they're not wanting to tell us, and they probably won't until something's brought up. And then you have to have faith. No, and I will. And at the same time, I kind of, because you have to that, learn to that it's it. a huge lie. Just we didn't want to... We weren't part of it so much, but we were. So it's kind of like, um, we don't want to deal with it. It's me and my siblings. Well, you we have to deal, deal with it in your own way. Mm -hmm. You we, have we, to deal with it in your own way. But it, when the moment that you want it to be dealt with and you want and you want to control the outcome, you're not dealing with it. Yeah. You're I trying think, to control. Yeah, you're trying to control. You want them to tell you or you want this to happen or you want... No, you've got to deal with it. You know, they are where they are. And it's been, well, not opportunities, but events that has happened that we get in some sort of rage and we give out hints because we're, we're so mad inside, but most of the time... You've got to deal with your own anger. Yeah, and it's not it's not on purpose. Of, I don't want to say this, but it's been like consume alcohol, you know, and yeah. it just anger comes out. And um, 
like we say it a little bit, but then after the day we're like, oh, we shouldn't have said anything. Fine, we're just gonna deal with it because we still have that respect. We were very grateful, so that respect is still there. Like, oh, I'm mad, but like we're still there. So I guess we just don't want to create anything awkward because we've always been kind of people like yes people. So we're never too too honest, just to not cause any more chaos because we already have kind of like some issues. Yeah. The honesty comes inside yourself. You have to deal with it. You know you're feeling it. You know you're doing it. You have to deal with it. It's not about the other.